Good afternoon, everyone. So welcome to our uh, master program uh, that is called uh, Python scripting. So first of all, warm welcome to everyone uh, for this uh, webinar uh, sessions that is called Python scripting. So the agenda for today discussion is uh, we're going to talk about uh, the what is scripting language and what is programming language, like what is the main difference between these two. And uh, we'll move on to introduction to Python. So what is Python? and what are the things we can do it in the Python programming. And then we'll talk about uh, modules and what are the different modules that are available in Python scripting and uh, AWS scripting using Boto uh, libraries, Boto modules. We'll talk about uh, GUI programming, what is the graphical user interface programming. Finally, we'll see the hands-on, okay? Hands-on for this uh, GUI programming, okay? So this is the agenda for today's discussions. Okay, next we'll talk about uh, the roadmap about this uh, Python certification course. So what are the different modules are available and what are the, what is the objective about each and every module? So this program consists of totally around eight to 10 different modules. So let's talk about each and every module wise. Module one, we're going to talk about introduction to Python training. So what is Python by using Python? What are the different applications we can able to create? What are the different companies are using the Python programming and introduction to Python that is called what is operators, what is the data types in Python, what are different data types are available, and what are the different control statement, conditional statements, flow control, looping operations, okay? So different technology-wise, like, sorry, different concepts we are discussing in the introduction to Python training modules, okay? Followed by, we have a corresponding answer. So each and every module, we have a corresponding answer, okay? In module two, we are going to talk about what are sequences in Python? What are different uh, sequences available in Python? And corresponding operation we can be able to perform on the corresponding sequences. What is list, tuple, set, dictionary? There are four main category of sequences. And what are the different operation we can be able to perform on the sequence? And then we'll uh, discuss about uh, what are the different file operation we can be able to perform. What are the different operations? Like open the file, close the file, read the file, write the file, open the file and with open file options, okay? These are different file operations in Python. In module three, we are moving towards this, uh, what is functions, what are different types of functions, and then OOPS concepts. Like what is uh, classes and objects, what are the different OOPS concepts are available? We are discussing under module three. In module four, we are working towards uh, with the modules, like how do we create a modules in Python? What are the predefined modules are available in Python. How do we use it in our program? And also we are going to talk about the exception handling in Python. What are the different types of errors are available? How do we handle those exceptions in programmatic manner? I would say for until module four, predominantly for Python developer rules. If you understand all the four concepts, the four different modules, you can easily go and apply for the Python developer rule. So from module five onwards, we're going to talk about data analysis task. Okay, how do we perform the data analysis by using NumPy package? So what is NumPy and what are the different array operation we can perform? What is an array? What is n-dimensional array? What are the different types of arrays? Why we are going for the array? So all the concepts we are discussing under module five. So module six, we're going to talk about data manipulations. How do we modify the data? Like how do we do the DML operations in Python by using Pandas modules. Like Pandas is very powerful modules. By using that, how we can do the some of the data manipulation operations. Module seven, to present our data in the graphical format. Like how do we do the data visualizations using matplotlib. Like matplotlib is one kind of modules, one kind of library in Python. By using that, how do we visualize our data in the graphical output? Okay, module eight, we're going to talk about what is GUI programming? How do we create the graphical user interface programming in Python by using some of the predefined model, IPython widgets, Tickler. So a lot of modules, so a lot of uh, modules are available, a lot of libraries are available. By using that, how do we, how we can create the GUI programming? I would say from module one to module eight is the instructor lead live sessions. Again, module nine and 10, it's for the self-paced course, like. Uh, we will understand what is a web map, how do we uh, plot the different plots by using web map, what is a CV computer visions, like how do we do the visualizations by using bucket package. Basically, module nine and 10 is a self-faced course. Let's move forward. Okay, what is scripting? So why are we going to scripting? 
scripting is mainly if you want to do collection of program or collection of task if you want to make it as automatic manner okay like suppose i have a, i want to do some uh, five different task okay maybe read the file and clean the file and then move the file to different locations finally generate some reports that report i have to email to the customers okay corresponding stakeholders so do i want to perform those five different task okay i want to automate all the five different task in a single program so that program we are calling a scripting program so in the scripting we have a less code intensive like we maybe uh, we can lot of manual so manual intervention will get avoided okay again if you do the scripting right it's a mainly for interpreter program rather than being compiled so first of all let's try to understand what is interpreter okay so in the market i am considering there are two different program one is for java and then python so java will have a two step process if you see this one step one step two so what will have we have a source code source code first it will get compiled we will create a class file and then the class file we are executing it to get the corresponding outputs so basically this will have a two step process right but the python is not like that directly we have a source code once we execute it we will we'll get a corresponding output okay that's why python is an interpreter language not a compile language so compiler language we have to we have to perform two step process first we have to compile the code and then run the byte code program then the compiled code program to get the output but python is not like that by using interpreter we can directly get the output from the source code so internally we'll do a lot of operations that's we don't need to bother about each perspective okay that interpreter will take care of it so that's the python behavior okay next we'll see uh, some of the features about uh, python introduction to python so python is very easy and free and open source language like it is open source no need to pay any licensing cost for it and uh, python was created by godo van rosen in the year of 1989 almost 32 30 years old program so python supports for both the paradigms so one is a procedural oriented programming and then object oriented programming so once you enter the program you will get to know clearly about what is pop and what is oop okay so pop nothing but uh, functions oop nothing but classes and objects python is an interpreter language with the dynamic semantic okay, what is dynamic semantic so the program is dynamic in nature so it is a dynamically typed program language suppose in java like i want to create a variables okay suppose simply i want to uh, run the adding two numbers so first of all what we'll do we will declare the variables and then assign the variables assign the value to the variable and then do the operation right python is not like that we can directly assign the value to the variable no need to do the declaration part so data type will take care at the runtime so that's why the python is dynamically in nature okay it's a dynamic type to program language okay it's a high level language we can easily understand it's a portable like uh, it will support for multiple operating systems windows mac linux different operating systems plus it is extendable we can easily integrate a python into java python into dotnet python into c++ python into uh, some other program we can easily integrate it okay, python into like power bi tableau so a lot of other tools we can easily integrate it into python program that's why python is extendable language so python supports a lot of different modules are available in python so let's talk about some of the modules okay python will have a sys module sys is one kind of module to interact with python interpreter suppose i want to know what is what is the python version i'm using on it i want to program it in a manner i want to understand it okay and also when i going to run the program in the scripting mode i want to pass the value to the program at the runtime in the command prompt all this operation we can do it under sys module os is the module mainly it is going to interact with operating systems to create a folder to create a uh, like to change the folder and then to remove the file all the op operating system operation operating level operation we want to perform operating system level operations we can do it by using os module like the sub process mathematical module mathematical operations and uh, to generate some random numbers like uh, to generate some otp numbers like uh, randomly we can do it by using random modules okay and then uh, we have a date time modules like if you want to generate some dates or if you want to generate some time format or extract some maybe month year dd mmyy value you can do it by using date time modules and we have a json module json is mainly for java script object notations like 
to generate some of the JSON file or to read the JSON file in Python programming, we can do it by using JSON module. So these are some of the predefined modules available in Python. So not only this, I would say these are some of the commonly used modules. So like this, we have plenty of other modules are available in Python to do our task. These are the modules or inbuilt automatically will come under in the Python. Okay, we no need to install it manually. So some modules, some of the advanced module like NumPy, Pandas, Mat Matplotlib, those things has to be installed separately. Whatever module I am showing in the screen, right? This module will come by default in the Python software. Okay. Okay, for that, let me quickly go to what are the modules are installed in my program in, in terms of, uh, in my um, software. I'll just quickly show you. Okay. So for that, what I will do, I have to do pip list command. Pip is the command will interact uh, to install, uninstall, to upgrade my libraries, my modules by using command prompt. Okay. Pip list. Okay, this will list down all the modules available in my in my software. Otherwise, what you do? If it's not available, so these are the list of modules, right? So we have a plenty of modules, as I told you, right? So we have a table, SQL Alchemy, Spider, and then like uh, where is math? Okay. Yeah. These are different modules. YAML, like YAML, where is YAML, YAML? Yeah. I didn't install it, okay. So if not if not available, if it is not if it is not in the list, right, we can install it manually. Okay. These are some of the predefined modules will comes along with my Python software. Okay. So if not module is not available, try to install it. For that, pip install. Okay. Okay. Pip install numpy. Okay, I will say requirement is already satisfied. Why? Because I already have this corresponding module in my site package folder. Okay, this is the, under this folder, all my library will get installed. All the module will get installed under this folder. Okay, so it is saying that requirement is already satisfied. Under this folder, I already have this modules. Fine. Okay. Let's talk about GA programming. Like we have the some of the uh, libraries available for to perform GA programming. We have a tickler. And then J Python, we have a WX Python. So like this, we have a lot of uh, tickler. Uh, I would say for I Python widgets. So a lot of libraries are available to do this uh, scripting, geo programming. Okay, simple one, right? Suppose I just import tickler and I am creating this uh, window. Like this is the main window, tickler dot tk. I'm just creating objects and then adding the widgets, main loop widget, right? So I will get this window like this. So no need to do for .NET or some C, C Sharp to create some of the graphical tools. So in Python itself, we can able to create some of the graphical tools. So by using Python, we can create labels, buttons, submit button, frames, like multiple tabs, grid, radio button, checkbox, and then option box, right? So a lot of buttons, so a lot of uh, the component, it's available under geo programming. Okay, so like there are different types of uh, commands are available, different types of uh, uh, things are available. We can do it in the uh, by using corresponding libraries. We can use the IPython widgets. We can use a tickler. So a lot of libraries are available to the graphical user interface programming. So this is pretty much about uh, our program. Thank you all.